What's up guys, Parth here from Droid Stuff and this is episode 4 of the home screen setup. Alright, so first clear your home screen and then set the grid size to 5x5 and set width and height padding to none and enable wallpaper scrolling. And then drag the super widget to your home screen and adjust according to your screen size. So first super widget that I've used it's called flat UI. Uh, it's very minimal looking app and available freely on the play store and there are 100 plus super widgets. All of the widget has a flat look and inspired from Google's current design guideline and there are also a pixel style search bar and developer also update this app regularly and add some new widgets every time. So the next super pack that I've used for this setup it's called minimal UI. This application is also available free on the play store and there is also 50 plus super widgets. So if you wanna try then I will link this one and all other apps that I've used for this setup will be linked in the description below. I have also changed the look of the app drawer so just go to the NOAA settings and in apps and widget drawer set the grid size to 5x5 and set the app drawer style to list and disable the card background. So this time I have also changed the style of the wallpaper. It's not your regular wallpaper so if you swipe left then it will blur your existing screen and display your most used apps or calendar widget and so on. So app that I've used to make this wallpaper it's called KLWP or custom live wallpaper. So first set the screen count to 2x1 and then select your background and then go to the items and select your shape. Then change the shape to rectangle and increase the width and height of that rectangle to cover your entire home screen. Then go to the effects and mask and then select the blurred background. Then adjust the blur level and deem according to your preference. Then go to the animation and select the BG scroll or background scroll. Uh, then set the action to scroll and set the center to minus 1. And adjust the speed according to your preference. So icon pack that I've used for this setup it's called Corny Icon Pack. So it's very clean and nice looking material design icon pack and there is also a paid version of this with new design and more icon support. So when you finally set it up it will look like this. And I have also changed the search widget and replaced the month and day option with the weather. So just select the super widget then go to the layout and then select the text that display the day option. Then go to the edit text manually option. Then select the second text that display the month option and then they replace the text with the current temperature. And to add the current temperature icon just select the scalable icon set.
So after all this your setup is complete. So if you like this setup then hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this and I will see you guys later.